Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. I am so glad you are here. If you're new, welcome. And if you are a subscriber already, hey, I'm so glad you're back. Okay, today I am taking part in the Cheap for che oh, Chic for Cheap. Yeah, that's it. Chic for Cheap challenge that Christy Creates puts on every mm -hmm. single month. So, um... Let's get right to this, and then I'll come back and show you the original and my uh, rendition of it. Okay, as you can see, I've got a canvas, a stretched canvas in front of me, and I have started with a very powdery blue um, color. This is an apple barrel, and I can't remember the name of it, but I added white to it to make it even lighter. And so I'm just covering the whole um, canvas with this blue. Um, and then we will get started on the rest of it. Okay, now that it's finished, I am taking some uh, black and some brown and a little bit of white and I am mixing that. And I'm going to put the foreground in across the bottom. And I'm not looking for a real blended color. I'm looking for an extremely uh, not blended color, I guess is what I, I can't even think of the term. As you can see, there's uh, darks and lights in this. And that is kind of what I am going for. Because this is the ground. That's, used, that's closest to you. So I started, I did the background. You always do like the background first, but um, that's why I did the sky. But this part had to be done um, first so that I could add in the, the background. And then I'll come back to the foreground and back to the background, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But um, I love to paint. I've been painting for many, many years. And a lot of people ask me to uh, videotape me. And since I'm doing the Chic for Cheap from uh, Christy, from Christy Creates, I decided I would go ahead and do this painting. As you can see, I'm putting uh, uh, little trunks. Not all of them are going to be trees. Some of them are going to be bushes. But I'm putting trunks all along um, this section right here and now I am starting on a very large tree now the um, inspiration the tree is not as big as mine but I I love making these trees and I love making them big so that's what I'm going to do so let me um, let you sit and watch me do this of course it's kind of boring right now but um, I didn't want to speed it up too much because then you miss all the different things that I'm doing, all the different techniques. Now, when I was younger, before I started painting, even after I had started painting, I always wondered, when people paint trees and bushes, do they paint all the individual leaves? But that'd be hard to do. That'd be really hard to do. So... As I was going through my uh, classes, my art classes, that's when I realized, no, you don't. The only time you do individual leaves is when, or even flowers, is when it's really close to you, where you can actually see the leaves. If it's far away, you, you don't. And I'll show you how I end up doing that in just a moment after I finish getting the trunk and all the branches um, done now I even though I'm putting leaves on here you still want to put the branches because if you don't put the branches when you're done you can tell that there's no branches that's holding up the leaves so you want them behind and a lot of times like in this one you'll be able to see the branches right through so because sunlight's coming through in different things and you will see that you, I'll make it where you um can tell where the sun is coming from in this uh, uh, in this painting. Now, 
um, my inspiration crazy but let me show you exactly what that is okay as you can see this was my inspiration and this was from the J Bass gallery collection and the name of this is the glowing warmth their asking price is one thousand and twenty dollars and sell price is seven hundred and thirty dollars so let's get back into this and i will show you the final project when we are done so um on my palette i um put uh red orange green no not green orange red and yellow and I still have some of the brown as well and the black and a little bit of white so um, I'm just kind of mixing those colors a little bit and I'm putting some down on the bottom on the ground like they fell now the leaves are all over but the ones that shaded looks dark and that's why it's all dark on that side and the sun's shining on the right side so you're going to see the lights and lows and darks of the actual colors of the fall leaves so i'm just going to get that all finished and then i'm going to move up higher in on the painting so once i get that finished um, you'll be able to see and I couldn't get this in the in the uh, the other direction so that you actually um, could see it better it wouldn't it was it just wouldn't show up so it was cutting all of it off so here I'm going with that same color and I'm just splotching it with my brush um, just patting it and splotching it to get those leaves in now this side of the tree is darker because the sun is not shining on it so that's why you can see that it is a much darker leaves on um, this side and I did have to uh, speed this up because it took me a while to get this done so here I am now going down like it's not under the tree it's way back in the like um oh gosh probably a mile away or maybe half a mile behind it and so it's just that's why it looks so small it's little trees and bushes that's back there and you're going to see me jump all over and that's how i paint because um sometimes you want some of the paint to get drier now this is acrylics so they dry really fast and sometimes if you don't then your um, paint will look it start looking like mud because it will mix too much and other times you want it to mix so I'm just putting this darker color and I'm adding like red brown orange in this and now this is the same brush I use the whole time I don't wash it off I don't clean it off I just start you know just doing the lighter colors now you can see as I'm coming to the front of the um, tree I'm lightening the um, all the leaves up because that's where the Sun is shining on that side of the tree so now I'm adding oranges and yellows because the Sun is shining on them of course so like I said I'm just splotching it and you can see the branches um, through the leaves and that's what makes it look like an actual tree um, when you're a little kid you draw a tree and you put a tree you know, like you circle up at the top and you color it and you call that your tree but there's really no branches and it's just a blob of color well as you learn how to paint or draw trees you realize you have to have those branches you don't have to have all the little ones you can come back and add some if you want or put some in before you do your leaves but the way this end up looking it just looks like it's a tree with a bunch of branches um, inside excuse me inside the tree so as you can see I'm just going back and I'm putting some of the lighter colors on those darker colors it'll never be as light as the other side but you don't want it to look like it's 
like like day and night from one side to the other so you do have to add some of that lighter color on the other side just like I added some of the darker on the light side so like you can see I'm just pouncing away putting all these leaves in and then once I get done with that then I'm going to go down below and put the the trees and shrubs that is down there and here I go so I'm just um pouncing away just the same as I was doing just smaller pounces so that it doesn't look like huge leaves and so um, as you can see I'm just adding different colors and then I'm going to take a chippy brush and I'm going to swipe across it and that will make it right there you can see me doing it it kind of gives it um, a misty um, texture so it doesn't look like it's just sitting back there it makes it kind of look a little bit misty and that's kind of where I was going with that so um yep because you just want it to all just kind of not be so boom 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 here I am so yep and I am just about finished I've only got a couple more things I've got to do and like I said I'm just um, I'm adding a, more of the colors on my palette and I said before this is a palette I have two of these they come off of a five quart ice cream container from back in 19 in the mid of mid 1980s because that's when I remember we used to have um, ice cream in those four uh, not four quart five quart buckets and I just kept two of the the lids and I just when they get too full of paint dried paint then I just peel it all off and I move on so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me paint like I said I love to paint um, I don't just paint on canvases I paint on just about anything I can imagine to paint on even my fingernails I use I use this little 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 tiny brush and I use magnifying glasses and I paint my nails all kinds of things on them so I'm just like I said I'm just getting this all pretty much finished like I'm just adding the leaves to give it um, more uh, texture and depth so that it actually looks like a tree so I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And don't forget to go down to the description box. Down there is going to be Christy's channel as well as the playlist. Some other really um, pertinent information. I am a plaid ambassador. I'm a BB craft ambassador and or affiliate. And so those links are in my link tree and that's down in the description box. So, I okay, it's all signed and here is my painting and I hope you guys really enjoyed this also don't forget to go down or don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell hit it twice and hit the all and you'll get notified every single time I upload also don't forget to um, give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment I love to um, answer and comment back and also I hope you guys all have a very very blessed week and be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye-bye.